good morning it's Tuesday morning so glad you could join us I hope you're well and I hope that these times together are doing you good so important I was saying the other the other Sunday so important that we um, we, 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 we walk the walk we we live uh, appropriately as followers of Jesus in these challenging days and, and time in the morning I believe first thing listening to the Lord speaking to him so important for our relationship with him and the writer of the Hebrews is, is, is reminding these dear folks of the, the astonishing privilege that is ours as Christians we've got this wonderful high priest he's using drawing on the imagery from the Old Testament all of which pointed to the need for a saviour blood being shed, sacrifices and offerings for sins, the need of a saviour who could deal with our sins once and for all. And that's what Jesus has done for us. And we finished yesterday with looking at the fact that, um, yes, Moses was told to build that tabernacle, that tent of meeting, very specifically. It's, it's not just any old tent in the, in, in, in the desert. It, it was to be built very specially because it, 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 it was, a, as it were, a symbol, a little bit of heaven. And so the, he had the, the measurements and all the rest of it were quite specific. It was, you know, the, uh, there was something going on there. It's, it's, it's because it, that, sank, that, that, that uh, tent of meeting was a, 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 just a faint, faint glimpse of the presence of the Lord in in heaven and interestingly when you go to the end of the bible revelation chapter 21 and then and you've got the new heaven and the new earth and and jerusalem coming down out of heaven uh, you've got you, you've got similar ideas in terms of the dimension of the the holy place and the temple and so on uh, which of course the, the holy holies was a cube in shape um, and when you get to revelation it's it's still cubic in shape but it's vast, it's sort of 1,500 miles long and wide and high. In other words, it's the, 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 the presence of God, the, the Holy of Holies, it's big now. And there's, because there's just thousands and thousands of people with access into the presence of a holy God. <laughs> so it, that's what this imagery is all about. The, the, the tent of meeting was a little glimpse, the tabernacle, a little glimpse of the reality of heaven that we've begun to enjoy because of our high priest who is Jesus and you know when we when we pray when we have our devotions we're heard in heaven <laughs> isn't that wonderful our high priest brings our prayers like incense isn't it beautiful where was I I don't know where I was okay so he's saying how this new covenant that Jesus has brought into being is superior to the one that Moses was told to bring into place. What Moses started was wonderful. God's presence really was with them as they walked through the wilderness. But now it's not one step removed. We have God's presence. So we have, here we are, verse 6 of chapter 8. The ministry Jesus has rec received is a superior to theirs as the covenant which is his mediator is superior to the old one since the new covenant is established on better promises for if there had been nothing wrong with that first covenant they struggled to keep it they, 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 they needed something to change listen we're getting there no place would have been sought for another but God found fault with the people and said the days are coming this is from Jeremiah 31 the days are coming declares the Lord Jeremiah prophesied, I'm going to make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. Oh, I'm going to heal the fracture there. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand. Oh, isn't that lovely? Took them by the hand and I led them out of Egypt because they didn't remain faithful to my covenant. And I turned away from them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will establish with the people of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. These are wonderful verses. Listen. I will put my laws in their minds. I will write them on their hearts. And I will be their God. And they will be my 
people. Isn't this beautiful? This is what you and I as Christians have. A, a new covenant is not written on stone like the Ten Commandments. It's written in our hearts. It's something that we inwardly, we, we've been born again. We've been made new. We have the Holy Spirit within us. This is beautiful. I will put my laws in their minds. I'll write them on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will they teach their neighbours saying or uh, neighbours or say to one another, know the Lord, because they will all know me from the least to the greatest. For I will forgive their iniquities and remember their sins no more. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? This is Jeremiah prophesying at a difficult moment when the people have just really blown it. They've, they've not been able to live up to the old covenant. They've tried hard to live up to the rules and do the right thing. And they, they've, their hearts have been drawn away to Egypt and here and there and other, you know, foreign gods and so on. And they've, they've not been able to do it. it just, they're, they're miserable times. Um, Jeremiah's prophesying there, this dear man, he, he'd seen into the future, as it were, the coming of Jesus. The days are coming. New covenant. It's going to be written in their minds, on their hearts, and I'm going to be their God. Isn't that beautiful? They're going to be my people. They are all going to know me. Isn't that beautiful? They're all going to know me. The access that we have to the Lord, no matter who we are, because of the blood of Jesus, because of Jesus dying on the cross for us, we have access into the most holy place, the presence of, of the Lord. Wow. It's, it's beautiful, isn't it? By calling this covenant new, he's made the first one obsolete. And what is obsolete and outdated will soon disappear. <laughs> That's one reason why I'm not. Some some people believe that um, offerings will be reinstated in the in the temple in the last days. I'm not sure. Um, reading a verse like that, I'm not really not so sure. I think, um, but anyway, that's a beside. Not don't, I'm not aiming to be controversial this morning. I just want to be. I just want to be reassuring. I, I want I want you and I to understand that the hu the the, the 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 wonderful access that we have. What it means for us to be able, to be able to come. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus, our Son. Give him the glory, great things he has done. Do, do you know that song? Sorry, to, to God be the glory, great things. You know, what, what, the access that we have that we don't use enough. Coming in the name of Jesus, our wonderful high priest who has done, he's given us perfect and lasting access into the presence of our heavenly Father. And we, oh, oh, what, oh, what needless pain we often bear because we don't carry everything to God in prayer. The access that we have, oh, you, make sure you use it. Make sure you recognize the, 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 the significance of it and get excited about it. Lord, here I come. I'm accepted. You know, in your devotions in the morning, Lord, here I am. You're hearing me. You're accepting me in the beloved. Oh, what a thrill, what a joy, what an incentive to pray and to use it. Use this wonderful um, provision that's been made for us by what Jesus did on the cross. So, Lord, thank you so much. I, I, I do pray that these words I've been sharing will stir us to, not to value highly the access that we have because of the cross, because of the shed blood of the Lord Jesus, we can come close. Lord, help us to value and use this wonderful access to come and talk to you, to be received, welcomed, loved, smiled upon when we come in the name of Jesus into your presence. So go with us today, Lord. Oh, I pray, strengthen us in our prayer lives, I pray. 
that we would grow stronger in our walk with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, just about on time. God bless. Have a really good day, and I hope you can join us again tomorrow. Bye now.